This Instagram account with very simple posts of motivational quotes can earn over $50,000 per sponsored post. Crazy, right? This account has no face, no personality, just repurposed quotes of other people. Anyone can make an account like this, trust me, because I created over 100 posts like this in just 10 minutes for free. In this video, I will show you how you can use ChatGPT and Canva to do the same so that you can create your own similar Instagram account and start making serious income online. But before that, let me show you why these numbers can be real. Let's use this Instagram earnings calculator to see how much they might be earning per sponsored post. See here, I need to choose other since their niche isn't here. I already set the 24 million followers and let me check how many likes they get on average. Well, I think they get roughly about 30,000 likes per post. So they can earn over $50,000 per sponsored post. I don't know about you, but I'm inspired with their success. So let's get started. First, I will simply ask ChatGPT to give me 100 motivational quotes. It will start quickly generating them, but only about 30 at a time. So I will have to click continue generating a couple more times until we reach 100 quotes. Then I will ask AI to organize this in two columns, the quote and the offer. I will tell you why I need it this way later in the video, but this is very important. Oops, I first asked ChatGPT to make a spreadsheet and it literally told me that I can easily manually copy and paste 100 quotes and authors to Google Sheets. Yeah, I like the irony when it says easily. Now I'm his personal assistant and the AI is telling me what to do. We have to be very careful with these things. Anyway, I just changed the word spreadsheet to a table and sorted the text in two columns in just a few seconds. Just keep this ChatGPT window open because we will need the columns a few steps later. Our next step is to bulk create the actual Instagram posts. Open Canva, it's an easy online graphic design tool and you can get 30 days of Canva Pro for free using my link anastasiablogger.com slash Canva. First, use the search bar on top and here's a pro tip for you. You can search for Instagram posts and add this plus motivational quotes and you will get lots of templates in the right square format that are specifically designed for quotes. So they will usually have the fields for the quote itself and for the author. I'm going to use this very minimalistic and simple template and later you will understand why it should be like this. Now click customize this template. You can see that this template has a field for the quote and here is the field for the author. If your template includes any extra elements except these two fields, you better delete those elements from the template. Then look on the left for the Canva apps icon and then search for the bulk create icon. If you cannot find it, just type in the search bar up here, so bulk create and the first thing that will come up is what we needed. Click on it and you will see that you can either enter your data manually or upload a CSV file. In our case, the easiest way is just to choose manual, copy the table from ChatGPT window and simply paste it here. Delete any extra rows that we don't need. Give the columns the right names, in our case it's quote and author. Next, we will have to right click on the space where we will have the quote element on this image and click connect data and choose quote. Then click on the author element and connect data from the author column. Here you go, Canva automatically placed the right fields in the right elements on our images. I can just show you very fast what can happen if you use another template and use this bulk create feature. This one had too big of a font for the author field, so when the author's name was a bit longer, it overlaid the quote itself. You have to either make the font for the author field in this template smaller or simply don't use templates like this. Or this template, for example. It might look great first, but when the pink highlight elements will end up on random words, you will have to manually adjust them to highlight the main words on each quote separately. So you want to avoid this type of templates as well. You can only find this by trial and error and I'm sharing these mistakes that I made while testing bulk create feature to save your time so that if you find this video helpful so far, I will be really thankful to you if you click the like button on it and if you want more of my tutorials in your feed, hit subscribe and hit the bell button. Next, you can automate in Canva Pro 
one more step and use their scheduler. It's only available on the paid plan, which will cost you about $12 a month, but you will get a lot of extras like access to the premium stock photos and videos in Canva's media library, and you will be able to connect Canva with any of your social media accounts and schedule your content. Again, you can use Canva Pro for free for 30 days if you register with my link anastasiablogger.com slash Canva. So to do this, I click share, then choose Instagram. On desktop, you can schedule posts. So I will just select my account. And if you haven't connected your Instagram account yet, it will prompt you here to connect it to Canva. Now you can pick the first image and it will ask you for your Instagram caption. To generate captions for my posts, I'll go back to ChatGPT and I'll ask it. Now add a third column to each quote as a description text that will serve as a caption on Instagram. Looks like this time the AI is in a good mood, so he goes ahead and generates captions with a relevant hashtag for each of the quotes. I just need to keep clicking continue every time it stops generating. Now we can copy the caption for the first post from ChatGPT and insert it here in Canva for our Instagram caption. Don't choose to publish now. We want to click on schedule and pick the exact day and time when you want the post to go live. Now hit schedule and the post will wait in your queue to go live on your Instagram account. If I schedule this way one post per day, I will have content for about three months in advance. And you see this huge Instagram account with millions of followers is apparently using this type of simple posts with the same exact background and fonts on the quotes. You could do the same, but if you keep watching, I will also show you how to use Canva bulk create on the God level and you will be able to create this 100 posts with a different color on the background. But before we move there, I thought you might want to know how I managed to stay on top of everything when it comes to managing multiple social media accounts and working with my small team of freelancers remotely. Well, the secret is Notion Projects. It's not just another productivity app. It's like our digital headquarters. It's also the sponsor of today's video, but trust me when I say it's an essential tool for me and my team. Imagine having a calendar, task list, content planner and collaboration space all in one place. Since I run several social media accounts, including Pinterest, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, I use in Notion this free template called Social Media Calendar to draft, plan and write all of my social posts in one simple database. You can view your own posts in a calendar to get an idea of timelines. My team members and I also use Notion Content Calendar template. This one helps me plan content for multiple campaigns and ensures every deliverable launches on time. I can even write blog post drafts or video scripts right here in the same place. See, for example, I'm working on a script for my video about Pinterest marketing for beginners. I will get here to the script, hit space, and the new Notion AI feature can help me with the intro for the video. Great, the intro is ready. Now I can ask it to keep on writing the script. Of course, I will not use the script without fact-checking it and rewriting it to make it sound more like me and to make it more engaging. But I just wanted to show you that you can plan, edit and co-create your content with the help of Notion AI all in one place. Then my team and I can leave comments, share ideas and collaborate on documents in real time. So whether you are a blogger, YouTuber or you run a small team like me, Notion Projects is a fantastic tool that helps you streamline your process and stay organized. Check the link in the description below to start your free account today. Now let's get back to bulk creating our images in Canva. This time we want to add different background to each photo. So how do we do it? We need to go one step back and first create a folder with background photos for our images in Canva. Click on photos first to see Canva's stock media library. I will search for something like light background. We want it to be light so that our quote in black color is easily legible. You can choose one of the photos, click on the three dots next to it and you will see the option called add to folder. Scroll down to find the create new button and I'll give my folder a name like light background. Now you can pick any other background that you like. Remember that it should be light if the text of your template is, is dark. When I click on the three dots on the next photo, I'll be also able to edit it to the folder that I just created. Simply click on the folder name, then scroll down to find the button add to folder. This takes you a few clicks for each photo, but 
It's the only way that you can use photos from Canva's media library. If you have your own background images that you can upload them from your external source, you need to go to the home page of Canva, click on projects, then open folders tab. Once you're inside the desired folder, click on the add new button and you will find the option to upload images from your computer in one click or import them from your Google Drive or another file storage. One way or another, we need to add about 100 photos to one folder if we want to bulk create posts with a different background. Then we will open our post template again. I will remind you that we had two elements initially, quote and author. Now we need to add the third element, which is image frame. You can click on elements, in the left menu in Canva, then do a search for keyword frames and they will show up right on top. Click on see all, scroll down a few times until you find a simple square frame. Drag it to our template and then drag it by the corner to adjust the size and fit our image size fully. Now to add the third data source to our table, click on add image column and once you have it, you can click on the plus icon and find the folder that you just created. Select the first photo and it will get into the first row. Repeat the same for every post. When you're done with all of them, click continue. We're ready to start the bulk create process like before. Right click again to connect data first for the quote, then for the author, and then click on the frame that we added, connect data and choose image. When you see the checks on all three data sources, you can click continue. Canva will generate posts like this for you, all with different background colors. Now, if you want to bulk create content like this for Pinterest, you can totally do this. Just pick a vertical image format instead and you can repeat the process. Just make sure that you use a template that's not very busy and that it matches the types of text that you want to bulk upload for your pins. The great part here is that you can also schedule your pins in Canva using the titles, descriptions and the link from the images that go directly to your website. In fact, Canva can work for you as a scheduler for all of your social media accounts. So if someone comments below that this method requires a pro Canva account, then show me another tool that will offer you all this functionality to bulk design images and videos and also can replace for you a paid social media scheduler. If you want me to record another video showing the whole process for Pinterest image pins, for video pins or for YouTube shorts, and any other social media formats, then let me know in the comments below. Meanwhile, if you want to learn how I get over 80,000 monthly sessions of free Pinterest traffic to my website, then check the video up there and I'll see you in the next one.